What is Crabay disease? In 1916, a Danish neurologist named Knud H. Krubba first diagnosed the rare metabolic disorder that has since become commonly known as Crabay disease. It also goes by the name globoid cell leukodystrophy, or galactosilceramide lipidosis. Crabay is an autosomal recessive disease, meaning both parents are carriers of the disease. They each have one healthy gene and one defective gene. The healthy gene is able to compensate for the defective gene, so the parents are unaffected by the disease. When two carrier parents conceive a child, there is a 75% chance the child will be healthy and unaffected by the disease, which includes a 25% chance of having an unaffected child with two healthy copies of the gene, and a 50% chance of having a healthy child that will carry one defective copy of the gene just like their parents but there is a 25% chance the child will receive two defective copies of the chromosomal defect, which results in Crabay disease. Though a child with Crabay disease has a genetic abnormality on chromosome 14, they usually appear completely healthy at birth, and often for several months or even years. However, their body is not producing an essential enzyme called galactocerebrosidase, or GAL-C. GAL-C is necessary to break down and metabolize toxic substances in nerve tissue. A deficiency in GAL-C results in toxic buildup. Psychocene, in particular, is a destructive toxin that accumulates in the brain. As psychocene builds up in the nerve tissue, it begins to destroy the myelin sheath, which covers and insulates the nerves. This process is called demyelination. Demyelination distorts brain messages. It inhibits the transmission of nerve impulses. This hinders the brain's communication with the body, resulting in disability. As psychocene continues to build up in the nerve tissue and progressively destroys the myelin, disabilities increase. The brain becomes unable to control the body, including motion, vision, speech, and critical life functions, eventually leading to death. Crabay disease most commonly affects babies in their first year of life. However, about a quarter of cases occur after the first year of life, where the onset of symptoms may begin in childhood, adolescence, or even adulthood. Crabay is a devastating disease. Visit Judsonslegacy.org to learn more and help us make a difference.